you, thank you. I need the table for my presentation. We've got the laptop going here. How awesome, like Kim said, has this morning been? Sue's given you 45 things to do over the next few, few weeks to get your business happening. And then Andrea, she's unraveled Facebook, Facebook ads especially for you, so you can really get your business pumping there. So I know you're thinking, how am I going to find the time to make marketing videos? How am I going to learn another software program to make marketing videos? And that's why I'm here. What if I told you you could actually make a marketing video in less than 15 minutes? In fact, I think I can do it in 10. And then what if it only took you like 10 minutes to post into social media and your Facebook ads, then suddenly 20 minutes a day and you've got all your social media marketing done. That's pretty cool, huh? That leaves you time to then work on your business and have some time for yourself even. So I think if we can get that happening in 20 minutes, that's a really great thing. So let me show you how. So first of all, we go to animoto.com. It's a subscription-based software and um, we simply go to the Create button. You, you log in, hit the Create button. We've only got 10, 15 minutes today, so I'm going to go straight to Animoto Marketing and create a marketing video. Here on the, uh, the dashboard, you'll see we've got a range of different what we call storyboards. And the storyboards are like templates. And we've created these storyboards with Facebook and social media best practices in mind. So they already have things like Andrea mentioned, um, mobile friendly. We have a lot of these square templates here because so many people are watching videos and looking at social media on their mobile phone that you can actually create square videos which are 78% bigger than the landscape videos. You can also put text on them. So as she said, there are a lot of people watching it with sound off. Put some text over your photographs and, and really get things going. We've got different storyboards for different ideas as well. So this is a bite-sized storyboard. We have these great quote storyboards here. There's real estate, editorial, and today I'm actually going to make this fun social quote storyboard. So you click on the storyboard here, you get a preview of it as you're watching it and then simply say, choose that storyboard. It opens up, it's a, so simple the way that Animoto works, it's actually just simply dragging and dropping into the area here that you see. So first thing we'll do is actually upload some photographs. Um, this one's a nice short one, so we only need a few photos, maybe a, a, a video clip as well. So we'll select these ones here and open those up. You'll see here in the, in the dashboard area that these ones that are greyed out are the ones that we actually have to replace with your own photos and video clips. So they're uploading into this area and as quick as that we've actually got our dashboard ready to go. So the first thing I'll do, this one's a video clip, so I'll take the video clip. Today we're actually going to be a cookware company. So we're selling cookware, which is not always the easiest thing to sell online especially, but I think by using this quote and by using this storyboard we can make things look really cool. So I've dropped the video into that first block and the great thing is when we click the edit button, you actually have the ability to trim the video within Animoto. So that's a nine second video. Nine seconds is actually too long, we don't want to start with a nine second video. So you can just come into here and move the slider along and choose the part of the video clip that we want to use. So even I think four seconds is too long. It's best to start this video with just like a two second video clip. So we'll just move it to there. You can also turn the sound off so there's no sound of the, of the food cooking in there either. And you can preview that by clicking the play button. I think that looks pretty cool. And hit apply. So that's our first block. Now it's probably the hardest block of them all. <laughs> the photo ones are even more simple. We just choose the photo, drop it onto the photo block, and it's done. So we'll take another one, let's use this one here, onto that photo block, and that one's done. And then let's take our logo and drop it onto the logo block at the end. So we're like two thirds of the way there, and it's been, what, three or four minutes? Something like nothing? So looking at that though, the pink and the cream is not really on brand for the cookware company. Um, and this is where, although the storyboards make it really easy for you to create videos, we have these great features where you can adjust them to suit your brand. Sue talked a lot about being authentic and making it you. And this is where we can come into things. We make it super easy to get started, but then you have the ability to customize it to make it more yourself. So let's go into the design menu here on the left. And you'll see here, you can actually choose the colour of the background and the colour of the text you're using. So let's make the background colour more of a deep teal. And that pink copy doesn't really go, pink text doesn't go. So let's actually make that cream. 
And although you can, all, you can change the colors globally by using this menu bar here, you can also go into each block and change them individually. So that background color doesn't suit, we'll make that white. And while I'm there, it's not the cupcake shot, we need to change that as well. So I'll go into the text tool and we will change that to nesthomeware.com. And again, we can't really read it with the cream. We can change that color of the text there as well. So all of a sudden, our video is starting to look pretty cool, right? One thing that I've really been enjoying doing with making videos is sort of switching out the color a bit, keeping the brand colors, but just switching them up. So let's go to, let's say, this one here. And we'll actually make the background cream and the text, the dark teal color. Go into there. And that kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. So as quickly as that, I could now hit the preview button and let's see how that looks. That normally takes a few seconds to actually generate the preview so you can see what's going on. But you can see that, I don't know, where am I at? Like four minutes, five minutes here? And we've been able to actually produce this marketing video. Aha, I didn't change the cupcakes. <laughs> so obviously they're not cupcakes. So we'll go back into this block and we can change the text to beautiful cookware. That's much better. While we're there, we can actually also change the text in this one. Like we can actually change the color of the source with these quote blocks and we can make that a different color. Or if you want, you don't want to actually say that the source was a very smart person, we can actually delete that completely. Um, while I'm in here, just to show you with the text blocks, you can move them around anywhere that you want. Um, you can also adjust the size of the text. So if you want it smaller or bigger, you're able to do that in there as well. Um, so that's looking pretty good. At the same time, if you decided that if you didn't have any video clips, maybe to start with a video clip, just because that's a video block doesn't mean you have to have a video. So if you don't have the facilities to do that or you just don't have any video clips, you can take a photo and put it on the video block and actually start with a photo as well. Um, with the quote blocks too, if you didn't want to have the quote blocks on a color and you actually wanted to put the quote block on a photograph, you can take the photograph and put that there behind the text. We can't really see the text there, so if we go into edit mode and switch on the legibility, you can then see the text and it stands out a lot more. So you start with the video that you've created from the storyboard, but like I said, you can go in and customize it then and make it your own. Um, I also think that potentially that music didn't really suit uh, the cookware. So we can go into the music selection where we have over 2000 songs in our library that are all commercially licensed for you to use for your videos. Um, and you can browse the full library. You can sort them by genre or by what they're popular for. Um, you can also tag your favorites to make it super easy just to go in and use your favorites. So I'll listen to this one here. It sounds much better and we'll select that song. Um, just here in the menu bar to show you as well because we've got plenty of time. Um, we've got filters so you can change everything to black and white or make them a little bit warmer or darker if you like. I'm going to keep the filters off. Back to the design tool, we have 28 different fonts. So you can customize the font to suit your brand, um, depending on what you're looking for, uh, depending on the feel of your video that you're creating. You can actually choose any font there that you like as well. Um, another great thing that I love, I mentioned we're doing this one as a square video. It really is sort of optimized for social media. If you wanted to do a landscape video as well, so it's going to YouTube or your website, you can very quickly hit this ratio button and make a landscape video instead of a square video. If you want both, you can actually produce the video and then copy it and make one of each version. So that makes that task super easy. I'm gonna go back to square though. Um, lastly is the style. We have five different styles, which are really just different transitions. And you can go in, that was a simple crossfade style that we were using for that one. But these different styles all have different looks for the video, bold's a bit more jumpy, Glamour has the glow, um, High Rise has the swipe up. Let's actually pick High Rise and see how that one looks. So we've made a few tweaks to our video and let's see how it looks. Let's see how this one looks. There we 
again, we're just waiting for the preview. That's looking much better, isn't it? One other thing, I'm pedantic about my videos. I thought that first one hung there at the front for too long, so we can change the length of time. The first video stays up there. Um, let's make that one second, this one two seconds, this one two seconds, and this one three seconds. And I think that should be about it. But it's super easy. You can mix and match it. Once you start, I think the best thing to do is to start with a storyboard and then make it your own. We've got so many different storyboards there. That's pretty cool, huh? What I love about that particular storyboard too is that it can really be used for anything. So if you have a coffee shop or even the dry cleaner, as, as Andrea mentioned, like, you know, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy beautiful clean clothes. And how cool is that? <laughs> so a lot of these storyboards, you can adapt to be any kind of business that you want. Um, we also have the facility to start from scratch. So if you're really a control freak and you've got a great idea in your mind, you've got a great story you want to tell, you can actually start from scratch and create your own video that way as well. But as you can see, it's super easy. And the best part is that it doesn't take too much time. So what I strongly encourage you to do is jump in and start creating videos. Because from my opinion, after what we've learned from Sue, what we've learned from Andrea, and what you've seen here, how easy it is, you can't afford not to be using video to market your business on social media. It's really the way to go. We all know when we look at our phones now, all we see on Facebook is videos. I think Mark Zuckerberg said that within five years, Facebook would be all video, and that was 2014. So that's the way things are going. So I'd like you all to jump in and start creating videos. So to enable that, as uh, Kim mentioned, Animoto has a promo code, LADYBOSS. LADYBOSS will give you 20% off Animoto Professional. Just go to animoto.com and you can actually sign up there. I think the guys are probably putting something on the screen. I know Lucas will put something in the comments as well for people watching online. But I do strongly encourage you to start making videos. Happy video making. <laughs>